quiet community of Forest Park, Oklahoma, there is a monastery where deeply religious men have chosen the cloistered life of a monk. The brothers wake every day at 3 a.m. and pray silently for over five hours before coming together for the morning mass, as Brother John explains. There's ten monks here in the monastery and we live a very strict monastic life. We feel, uh, as ancient monastic rules have always shown, that monks should be busy mostly at prayer. Our emphasis is at prayer. We're a contemplative order. We work very hard at praying and we pray quite a bit of the day. We wish we could pray a little bit more. We do try and, though, keep prayer going, even in the midst of our other activities. Our monastic rules are strict enclosure, never going out. Uh, we try and stay even physically on the property as much as possible. We find that uh, the prayer brings your mind into a better balance and also gets you in tune with what needs to be done better than any other method we've come upon. The next day with the greatest difficulty, he managed to... Even the during their noon meal, the brothers silently receive the word of God. Very little disturbs this community of contemplation, except for the occasional... For over four years, the monks of the Holy Protection Monastery have been protecting life and property in Forest Park as the town's only 24-hour on-call fire department. As seen here on a practice run, the brothers have been trained in all the latest fire, first aid, and rescue techniques. They have fought nearly 500 fires. When we became firefighters, we told the chief that uh, we would ride on the vehicles as long as they were blessed. You know, we, being religious first, firefighters second, we ask for God's blessing on anything we do and on any equipment you use. This is an icon called Our Lady of the Burning Bush, and it's in all the, uh, all fire vehicles have it. They've all have the icon and are blessed. They help to keep our minds where they should be and, and very prayerful and calm down, especially on a fire run. And secondly, uh, a blessed icon is like a window to the spiritual world. Especially valuable to us in this kit is something which, uh, we, it is our holy oil who has been blessed by our bishop. Actually, this oil has been touched to the relics of several hundred saints throughout the Catholic tradition. And this oil is used on all emergency medical calls. Anyone who is in any type of distress, this is the most essential piece of medical equipment which we carry. It's, to us, basically a lifesaver. Our life in the fire department is governed by our life as being monks. We view our fire department duties as an extension of our own monastic life. Of course, we wear our own monastic clothes even while we're fighting a fire. These are our uniforms, this is our profession. And so, although we do, in a fire ground situation, take our cassocks and tuck them up so they're all protected, but uh, we do wear these clothes in fire and fires. While we were there, an actual Forest call did come in. Fire call! John, there's a fire call. <laughs> While some of the brothers man the phones to dispatch the other volunteers, the first to the scene is invariably the brothers of the monastery. On with the boots, out the back and over the wall. These monks mean business. Response time has been cut drastically since the monks took over, and before five minutes can pass, help is on the way. Today, it seems, a large rubbish pile is caught on fire and is threatening nearby homes. The dry spring weather has made even the smallest blaze cause for alarm. The streets clear as the fire engines tear through town, sirens screaming, lights flashing. These are holy men who fight fires, save lives, and do battle with a different kind of hell every day. Pumping hundreds of gallons of water at enormous pressure, these men of the cloth make quick work of this potential disaster. And when the battle is done, a silent prayer is said by every man as they pack up and head back to their cloistered life inside the walls of the monastery. When you get a taste of uh, real fire experiences, when you realize how dangerous fires are and how necessary fire protection really is. Therefore, we bring 
our religious uh, attitudes and uh, ways with us. Give us our...